soldiers. We might be staring down the barrel of a full-scale invasion. It's happening across the world. Leave them to me. An alien computer. This is Bruce Thomas playing Decide. You are watching Krypton Chronicles. Okay. So you play a villain. I do. Decide. Yeah, decide. Um, so, so tell me about him. Well, he's, he's a servant to Darkseid. I mean, he's the, the guy that does all of his dirty work. Uh, I didn't realize that when I got the, the uh, script. I didn't know much about these smaller villain guys. Um, and it was nice to see that I was able to sit down one of our favorite superheroes and put the screws to him, so to speak. Right. That was the fun part. Um, actually, you're not new to the DC Universe because you played Batman. I remember yeah. seeing that show, and I remember your part. That was really, really cool. So, Thank you. I mean, what was it like playing an iconic character like that? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, well, it's, it's incredible. Um, it's, I, I, yeah, it's incredible. I, I grew up with uh, watching Adam West, and so I, I always thought he was sort of a campy guy, Batman. <laughs> and then when Keaton came along and Burton came along, and they changed the whole thing and allowed him to, to yeah. bring out his, no pun intended, dark side. Um, that was a really cool thing for me. And since then, I've fell in love, I've fallen in love more with Batman as time goes you know, goes on. He's, I, I just relate to him more and more. He's having to deal with the darkness of life and dealing with it. So what was it like going up against Superman? The new Superman from New 52? Um, well, you know, I didn't really go up against him. I kidnapped him and tortured him. <laughs> So, that's even um, better, huh? Yeah. That's a real dangerous Oh, that's villain. so much fun. <laughs> that's sort of what Das Desad does. That's great. That's great. Um, so being that this is contemporary, um, did, did you feel like you had a lot more creative freedom to kind of be, you know, this really evil, evil dude since, yeah, I mean, it's PG-13? Yeah, you know, the fun is coming up with the reasons why he's, he's so wormy. And, and it's just I, just, I just toyed with the fact that he's this loser guy. He's a servant to dark side. He'll do, like, if, if you're a servant to anybody and then you're locked alone in a room, he doesn't have anybody else in his life to tell him that he's a little off track and that maybe this is not socially acceptable. So he just got more cynical and more cynical with time. And nobody was there to stop him. <laughs> so that's how we—that's how I did it anyway. <laughs> so you have any more plans of uh, being in the DC universe? Yeah, I've got a few things coming out that I'm—I don't think I'm allowed to talk about, but um, oh, it's not so good. I know I can't it's grab one, it out of you. <laughs> uh, no, there's a Batman film and another Justice League film. All right. All right. Um, so I'm getting around and I'm, I'm getting a little taste. They're throwing me little fun things, little different villains, and it's just all. Ball. I'm loving my life right now. All right. Well, thank you. I look forward to seeing the movie. Me too. Thank okay. you. I haven't seen it yet. And thank you. Thanks. Okay.